folks, my name is Fred Zweifel, and I am the owner and inventor of Shoe True, which is this simple little horse showing aid that I have here in my hand that allows you to keep the alignment of the shoe in line with the toe of the horse's hoof. That's always been a huge challenge for any shoer, no matter what your shoeing skills are. I know that we can all get a shoe on in some amount of time. The idea is to get the shoe on as fast as we can but with accuracy and with that that's where this tool is so handy. The getting that proper alignment is the biggest challenge for any farrier whether you're a pro or a beginner. Some of us can do it quicker than others. We can all get it done in time but the idea is to get it done as soon as possible which makes it better for you and your horse. What I have here is a simulated bottom of a horse's foot as you're looking at it. I'm going to put the shoe on and here we have a freshly shaped shoe and this is what they always do. They slip around and your your challenge is to get this shoe nailed on so it's exactly flush with the toe of the shoe and the hoof just like that which is 90 percent of your shoeing applications to end up with a shoe like that. Typically it'll end up like that or over here you know what happens. So our idea is to have that lined up. So I'm going to show you the tool that helps you do that. I wear this tool right here on these washers. It's magnetic so it's always there whenever I want it. You can put it on your shoeing stand, you can put it on your shoeing box, what works best for you. Here's the horse's foot. I come over and I slip this on his foot like that and as you can see it's in place. Now as I rotate this around you'll be able to see the shoe is in direct alignment with the toe of the hoof which is exactly where we want it. So there it is. Now I'm going to simulate actually shoeing the horse. I'm going to put this down between my knees. Later I'll show you on the horse. Here's the horse's foot between my knees and Sometimes this horse is wanting to move around like this, or, and you're walking a little bit, of it, you've all been through this, I'm coming up with my shoe, I'm looking at this camera lens right now, I'm going to put this shoe aligned and I'm not even going to look down there, all I have to do is lightly hold that shoe against the clip, it's lined up, it's there, and I'm not even looking at it. So my job at this point is to simply keep my hand here, and as the horse is calm, I'm going to start with this 3 o'clock nail, get it started, and then I'm going to come over here, start my 9 o'clock nail. Once those two nails are set and rung over, the shoe can't move anymore. At that point, I slip this off, I put it right back here where I carry it on my apron, and at this point, you are free to continue nailing if you want to. If the horse is having a hard time or you're having a hard time, you can put the foot down and finish shoeing later. The second part of this video that I'm going to demonstrate is, say for example you're shoeing a colt or a sore-footed horse, time is of the essence, especially with younger horses, they've never been shod before. So what we're going to do is we're going to put two of these clips on. The first clip I'm going to put on the shoe at the 2 o'clock position, centered at 2 o'clock, just like that. Now I'm going to take a second clip and put it over here at the 10 o'clock position like this. Now I'm going to put this shoe back on the simulated hoof and it's just going to drop down and sit there and as I rotate this around you can see that the shoe is lined up with the toe of the hoof and I literally can't even shake this off. I can twist it, turn it, and this thing is like locked on there. Now what I would do with the horse's foot between my feet, I would start this second middle nail. I'd come over here and do this middle nail. And with the clips in this position, it's a little hard to completely set your nail. But once you've got them halfway driven in, at that point, I will simply pull these off. And now the shoe isn't going to move because there's a nail on either side. I pull these off with the horse's foot between my knees and I'll finish setting those two nails and then you can really quickly put that horse's foot down and save a lot of time for yourself and the horse. So once the shoe is got its two nails in once again I simply pull the two clips off 
and I can put his foot down. And you can go in, take a break, the horse can take a break, whatever the situation demands at that time. So we're going to go up and take a look at this horse, and I'm going to show you exactly what I would do if I were going to use this in a shoeing application. I'm ready to put this shoe on the horse. I take my toe clip, place it right here at 12 o'clock. It's ready to go. I'm going to pick his foot up. It's between my knees. Okay. Now, I'm going to take this shoe and I'm just going to draw it back to his toe. It stopped. How about that? Right now, the shoe is in perfect alignment with the hoof. And all I have to do is hold my hand there. I don't have to peek down here to see where it is. I don't have to feel because it can only be in one place where it stops right at the toe. At this point, I'm going to take a nail. I'll start my 3 o'clock nail and I'll do my 9 o'clock nail. Now for example, if this wasn't there and this horse moved a little bit like that, what do you have to do? You got to get down here, you got to peek, you got to feel, get it lined up, hope you got it right and do it again. Well, if this clip is on there, this horse can jump right in the air and as long as I stay here with him and keep my hand there as soon as he stops and gets calm the shoe is still lined up I can immediately save some precious seconds if he's not cooperating nail that nail nail that nail and we're good now to go. we've got a sore footed horse a colt so horse is having a real problem I'm gonna put these two clips on like we did earlier at the 10 o'clock the 2 o'clock position there they are Pick the foot up. Now, I pull that shoe up. It, it it can't it can't move anywhere. It's a solid. I mean, of course, obviously it can go forward, but side to side movement. This horse can do about anything. I'm going to start this nail. Start this nail. Take the clips off. Finish my nailing. Another little trick that might help you if you're having problems with shoe alignment, the, the nail hole is about a quarter inch in length. If you take the point of the nail and start it at the very bottom of that hole, as you hammer the nail in, it's going to pull your nail down, it's going to pull your shoe down an eighth of an inch. If you put it in at the top, it's going to push it up an eighth of an inch. So if you really want it to stay where it's supposed to be, or you want it to be, get the point of your nail exactly in the center of that hole and hammer it in there, and your shoe will stay right where it's supposed to be. We're going to quickly do a hind foot to show you the same application. I'm going to take the shoe through, place it on the toe, 12 o'clock position of the shoe. I've got that in my pocket. I'll put it right here. Now, I'm going to pick up his foot. Here's his foot ready to go. Now I've got my shoe. Now typically, this shoe is going to be slipping around. You've got to get down here, peek down, line it up, get it ready, and get a nail in. But if I have this tool on there, like I always do, all I've got to do is draw the shoe up to there. It stopped. If he wants to move a little bit, great. No problem. As soon as he stops moving, set my two nails, peel this off, put it right there, and I can finish nailing or put the foot down and come back later. You're doing your own horse in your backyard, whatever it is. Time is not of essence at that time. This will give you the accuracy if you're a little bit unsure of getting that uh, shoe where it's supposed to be. And one scenario, we've all been there without this tool and you get a nail in, you get the other nail in, and then you look at the shoe and it slid over a quarter inch this way or down. Well now, if you really want to do it right, you've got to pull the nails out and reposition the shoe and nail it all over again. And by that time, many times the horse is getting tired of this. He doesn't want to do it anymore. You don't want to do it anymore. The shoe still isn't on the foot. So if you can use this tool to help with that scenario, because it always snowballs once you screw it up once, it's going to happen again. And because the horse is just frustrated. He's tired of waiting. So give him a break. Use this tool and everybody will be happy.